I think it's raining. It's definitely raining. Good evening everybody, Carl Biker here in Toshi's Man Cave. Oh, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not been here for a while. Um, Last time I was here, I think we were changing the tyres on my Z1000. And I said at the time, it might be a good idea to do a video afterwards of how to balance the tyres, balance the wheels, so you don't get any vibration when you're riding. And it didn't need doing, so I never got to make that video. But, Mrs Tosh has got a new bike. She's got some nice new Pilot Road 3s that Tosh was bought on the other day. And she's complaining of a vibration, so we're going to balance this front tyre. Now the reason behind balancing is it's an alloy wheel, manufacturing defects, uh, the fact there's a valve at one side uh, means that the, the weight isn't balanced equally around the wheel. When you put the tyre on, the tyre as well can be not quite balanced equally around the tyre. Um, some tyres you put a little spot on the same way the heavy bit is, so you can line it up against the valve. Even when you do that, there's always the possibility at least, not as a thousand it seemed, but there's always the possibility at least that it'll be out of balance and you'll get a vibration. So all we're going to do is stick wheel weights in the right places, work out where we need to stick them, stick them on, uh, to make sure that there is an even distribution of weight. Before we do that though, we've got to get this muck off because this is a dirty greasy wheel. So we've got a slightly non-technical but cheap white spirit approach to things. Good stuff this time. That's the wheels now pretty much spotlessly clean, or the bits we need to be clean anyway. We've got a little bit of residue from the old wheel weights where they've been stuck on some adhesive and there's a bit of residue from the white spirit. I want rid of all that, I want these absolutely spotlessly clean for the new wheel weights which are self adhesive. So to do that, a bit of meths and water in a spray bottle and a bit of a wipe. I do apologise for the sound, it is a British summertime, which means it's a monsoon. This is my wheel balancing machine that I brought around with me today, going to balance the wheel with. Uh, nice cheap machine, I think I paid £28 for it off eBay. Um, a little bit easier than trying to faff about with wheel bearings and axles and all that kind of guff. Um, you only need to buy it once, it should last you the rest of your life. In fact, so much am I confident in that, I believe they've only ever made one. Two! <laughs> Sometimes you wonder why you bring a machine round. Can you bring your machine round, Richard? Just so we can compare it to mine. <laughs> <laughs> so the machine's quite simple. We've got a few bearings at the top and we've got a rod. And the rod sits in those bearings and spins really freely. So when we put the wheel on that rod, it'll spin nicely. It makes it really easier for us to work out where the heavy part of the wheel is so that we can work out where to put the weights. Um, the rod doesn't go straight through your wheel. Obviously that is not standard axle size. So it comes with little cones, so it can work on various different sizes. These slide on, go into either side of your wheel, hold it nicely in place while you do the balancing. That's the machine level. We now get on with balancing the wheel. Now we're going to mount the wheel on the bar. Don't want to do this on the machine because I don't want to put any pressure on the bar itself. Take the risk of bending the metal and ruining it. I'll just slide it through from one side. I've already tightened one of the cones on so that it's nice and snug. Get the second cone and get that in as far as it'll go. 
so the wheel sits on those cones nicely and then just nip it up now the machine comes with another two of these collars not cones this time, just flat ones doesn't come with instructions unfortunately so I'm assuming these are just there to stop it if that were to come loose stop them the cones jumping out and the wheel falling so we'll use them This is a quite a simple idea really. We know one bit of the wheel is probably heaviest. So with the magic of gravity, if we let go of the wheel, that bit should eventually settle to the bottom, which is why you need good bearings on these things, so that it can spin smoothly. And you can see the wheel spinning. Uh, and it will settle with the heaviest bit at the bottom. And we can fiddle about with it a bit if we want to speed it up. So I can see roughly it's going to be about there if I move it to about there. Let go wait for it to settle. So, heaviest bit is down there. So to balance it we're going to put weights up there. Don't want to stick them on straight away because I don't know how much it's going to need. So a bit of masking tape which isn't very heavy. Stick a couple of weights on and then check the balance again. So I'm going to start with about half a, a length of weights. I don't know how much it's going to take. That is 30 grams. A little bit of masking tape and I'll stick that as close to the top as I can. We'll see what happens. So if it falls off. <laughs> so what I'll do, I'll move that around to 90 degrees where it's going to have the most effect. And then we'll see if that settles to the bottom, we know it's too much weight. If it rises to the top, we know it's not enough weight. And it's heading towards the bottom. So let's try it with a little bit less. So I'm going to try with 20 grams now. The wheel's pretty much settled, so again just stick that at the top, and again round to 90 degrees, it's rising ever so slightly but it looks like it's not really overcoming the bearings that much, so I would say that's pretty much there. So all we need to do now is put these on permanently, or semi-permanently. Now I want to make sure that the weights go exactly at the top to balance off the heavy point at the bottom. It happens to line up with this little line here so I'm just going to put a dab of white on that line. Just so I can see where they're going because I don't want to be putting pressure on the tyre while it's still on this machine. So the first of the weights is going to go on this side, the other weight will go on the other side of the wheel. Got my mark. Just need to peel off the backing and stick it on in the right place, which is about there. So now Get this weight at 90 degrees, make it its heaviest point again, and it should stay still. Perfect. So we're all balanced, get the wheel back on the bike. Thanks for watching everyone. Ride safe, and we'll talk to you all again soon. So how heavy are these things? Ooh.